everyone, I'm Blanche and welcome to Feast in the Middle East. I'm going to make a very, very popular stew called fasulia, which is really a green bean and tomato stew that's really popular uh, in the Middle East. And usually it's done on a stove over a long period of time, but I'm making a working girl's fasulia because I have a job, I have two kids, so the crock pot right here is going to be amazing in transforming this dish into something hearty in just a few hours while you're out doing your thing. So let's start with the meat. Now for fasulia, the base is usually some kind of meat. I like to use lamb, that's the traditional way, but you can use chicken if you are not a lamb fan. And I'm gonna season them very simply with just some pepper, some salt, and some allspice. Again, we use allspice in everything in our cooking. And I'm gonna season both sides and I'm going to pan fry them. Okay, with the meats, there's a lot you can do to work in advance. You can saute the meat before, put it in the fridge, and put it in the crock pot the next day, or you can put it all together that morning, put it in the crock pot, and let it cook all day. So I'm gonna season the other side with same thing, salt, pepper, and allspice. The reason why I'm sauteing the meat before I put it in the crock pot is because if you put any kind of meat in the crock pot without searing it on the outside first, the meat it will be gray. And there's nothing more unappetizing than gray meat. Another tip I have for you is don't overcrowd the pan with too much meat. Do it in two batches if you have to. If you crowd the pan with too much meat at once, you won't sear the meat, you'll just end up steaming it. And you don't want steamed meat, you want that nice caramelization, that kind of crispy, beautiful brown edges that we really love in meat. So we're just gonna sear this on both sides. I also have onions, I have tomato puree. Now this is another shortcut you can take. You can use canned tomatoes if you want. Uh, canned tomato sauce or canned tomatoes chunk style. My kids don't like chunky tomato in their food, so I just puree it. This is pureed tomatoes. It's a great way to use summer tomatoes. Now, green beans. I like my favorite variety of bean are the haricot vert. That's the French style. They're long and skinny, just like this. And they also offer them frozen. So if you don't have these available to you uh, in the winter time, you can get frozen ones that work just as well. You could even put them frozen in the crock pot and cook them all day. And let's see if we've got this searing, nice caramelization that I'm after in the meat. Yep, see, it's turning brown already. So let's just flip them over. I have found tremendous results, though, by putting the crock pot on all day for eight hours on a slow cook, because what happens is when you take the meat out, it's so tender, it falls right off the bone. You don't even need a fork and knife to eat it. As you can see, the meat is nice and browned on the outside, and I think it's ready to just place in the crock pot as is. All seared on the outside, like that. Very easy. And I don't want to waste these pan juices. These pan juices are tremendous for adding rich flavor to my dish, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil, olive oil, about uh, a tablespoon or two, and one onion. And I'm going to saute it for a little while until it gets brown because I'd like my onions to get brown too, not just the meat. Okay, so can you see how beautiful and brown these onions are? Now it's time to add the garlic. I'd say a nice big heaping tablespoon or about four cloves of minced garlic. You want to add that last. If you add it in the beginning, the garlic might burn and there's, you don't want burned garlic in your food. It really takes only a minute for this garlic part to saute before you transfer it to your crock pot. So here we go, we're just gonna give it a nice, quick saute, and then we're gonna place this over the meat. And like I said, if you don't want lamb, you can always use chicken. Make sure you brown the chicken the same way. And I'm gonna just put it over in my crock pot, just like that. So we're gonna add the, the green beans. So these are the green beans, just put them on top. They cook down substantially, so don't be shy about putting a lot of green beans. And then, of course, we are gonna season the, the green beans as well. We can't just, you know, let them sit there. So we're gonna put about another half teaspoon of salt over the green beans. And I'm going to put some more allspice over the green beans. I'd say another half teaspoon of allspice and some pepper because we're not just seasoning green beans, we're gonna season a broth. And the broth, 
um, has to have a lot of flavor because you're gonna spoon that over rice. Now, this is traditionally eaten over rice. If you wanna go low carb, this makes a lovely hearty stew. What I really love about crock pot cooking is that in the summertime when you don't wanna turn the oven on but you wanna cook, this is a great alternative. And it's also lovely in the winter time because if you don't have uh, the vegetables in season, you could buy them canned or frozen, put them in, and you have a really hearty dish that's very satisfying in the cold winter months. So this is versatile for both seasons. Now I'm gonna add about four cups of water. So I added the tomato puree and I'm gonna add the water, okay? And believe it or not, that is all you need. So you put the top on, you cover, and you let it cook as long as you want, all day long. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's all done. This is one that I've had simmering overnight. Look at that. Ah, oh, the sweet tomato aroma. It's incredible, it's incredible, I love it. So what I'm gonna do is show you what it looks like. So we've got the beautiful, rich tomato sauce that's been flavored by the onions and the lamb. And so let's put some of the lamb in here and some of the green beans and tomato. And some people like this really soupy. They don't care if there's rice in their plate. They just want a lot of soup. I'm gonna take some of this beautiful, rich tomato broth and put it on top, just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And people will think you slaved for hours when really, you know what slaved for hours is this beautiful gadget that I cannot live without. As you can see, the meat is so tender, it falls off the bone. It's so easy, you barely need a knife to get it off. And you can flavor, you can get a bit of the onion and the green bean. Oh my goodness. This is perfection. If you serve this to your family, they will love you. I'm serious, my family loves me when I serve this for them. They are all happy, in a good mood, and it looks like I spent hours and hours and hours when really it just took a few minutes to assemble and boom, you're done. Thank you for joining me on Feast in the Middle East. If you want more recipes like this, you can go to feastinthemiddleeast.com, you can go to youtube.com slash Blanche TV, or you can find me on Facebook at Blanche is Feast in the Middle East. Until next time, sahtain. This is incredible.